Lesson 56 on my website, Rhombuses, Parallelograms, and Trapezoids. This lesson introduces you to some figures that come up quite a bit in geometry, so it's important to make sure that you learn how to recognize them and learn their names. Let's start by taking a look at the rhombus. For now, you can think about a rhombus as a slanted square. We know that a square has four equal sides, and if you look at the rhombus here, we've taken a square and basically just slanted it. These tick marks on each side show you that each of the sides are congruent. That means that they each have the exact same length. So for now, just think about a rhombus as a slanted square, and just learn how to recognize the shape and the name. Next, we have a parallelogram. You can think about a parallelogram as a slanted rectangle. We know that a rectangle has two equal sides, and then another pair of sides that are not equal in length to the first pair. That's basically what a parallelogram is, but slanted. These tick marks show us that this top side and this bottom side are congruent, this top side, which means that they're the exact same length. This top side has two tick marks, and that matches the two tick marks that are on the bottom side. The left side and the right side have one tick mark each. That shows us that they're both the same length, but not the same length as the top and bottom side. Now later we'll talk more about a parallelogram, but for now just recognize it as a slanted rectangle. Okay, now take a look at a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a shape that looks like this. It can actually look somewhat different than this. The general idea with a trapezoid is that we have one pair of sides that are what's called parallel. Now we'll talk more about parallel in another lesson, but if you look at the top side and the bottom side, you can see that if we were to extend them both, they would never meet, and we call that parallel. In fact, the parallelogram gets its name by that concept because the top and the bottom sides, if we extend them, would never meet. They're parallel. And the left and the right side, if we extended them, they would never meet. Those sides are parallel. So getting back to a trapezoid, the trapezoid has one pair of sides that are parallel and another pair of sides that are not parallel. Here you can see that the left and the right sides are definitely not parallel. If we were to extend them, they would certainly meet and cross each other up here. Okay, now in the case of a trapezoid, we don't really know anything about the lengths of the sides. Some of the sides could be equal, or they may not be equal. All that's significant, equal in length. All that's significant is that we have one pair of parallel sides and one pair of non-parallel sides, and we call that a trapezoid. Again, in upcoming lessons, we'll work much more with these figures. We'll learn how to do all sorts of calculations with them. For now, just learn how to recognize their shapes and recognize their names. We'll talk more about this later.